treatment is more aggressive and any delays in diagnose, diagnosis and treatment can have serious consequences, many of which could be countered by breast cancer education and awareness. Whereas according to the Guam Cancer Facts and Figures from 2008 to 2012, there were a total of 292 new cases of breast cancer on Guam. And according to the National Breast Cancer Foundation, more than 249,000 people in the United States are diagnosed with invasive breast cancer every year. And nearly 41,000 die from this disease. And whereas older women and those who have a personal or family history of breast cancer are among those at great risk of developing the illness and early detection is key in the fight against the disease. Whereas according to the Guam Cancer Facts and Figures 2008 to 2012, breast cancer remains the most common cancer diagnosed in Guamanians and it is the second le leading cause of cancer death among Guam's women. And the staff of Guam Cancer Care along with organizations such as the American Cancer Society, the Guam Comprehensive Center Control Program, the breast can the Guam Breast and Cervical Cancer Early Detection Program, the Guam Cancer Coalition, and the Edward M. Calvo Cancer, Cancer Foundation organized month-long events beginning with a Get Your Pink On nonpartisan wave event held on October 2, 2017, the 16th annual Strides for the Cure 2K-5K run held on October 7th, the Save the Susu event held on October 14th, a breast cancer conference, Unmasking Breast Cancer, Sharing Wisdom and Resources, held on October 20th, and the American Cancer Society, Real Men Wear Pink Social event, held on October 29th at Three Squares. Just to name a few, with the, all with the goal to promote increased awareness of breast cancer on Guam. Okay. Be it resolved that Imena Trentai Quatru in Legislatura in Guahan does hereby, on behalf of the people of Guam, recognize the observance of October 2017 as National Breast Cancer Awareness Month on Guam to honor those individuals who have lost their lives to breast cancer, to celebrate those who have survived the disease, and to pledge to continue to combat this terrible illness through education and awareness. And be it further resolved that the speaker certify and the legislative, legislative secretary attests to the adoption hereof and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to Ms. Marisha Artero, Ms. Tina Noket, community managers of the Guam branch of the American Cancer Society, to Terry Quabo, executive director of the Guam Cancer Care, to Rose Greeno, RN, chairperson of the Guam Cancer Coalition, to Mr. Lawrence O. Alam, acting health services administrator for the Bureau of Community Health Services, Guam Department of Public Health and Social Services, and to the Honorable Edward J. B. Calvo, Imagalahan, Guahan. Duly and regularly adopted by Imina Trentai Quatru in the Legislatura in Guahan on the 27th day of October 2017, signed by the Honorable Speaker Benjamin F. J. F. Cruz and Legislative Secretary Regine Bisco Lee. Um, on behalf of the Guam Cancer Coalition and Ms. Rose Greener, who is unavailable today, um, we thank you for this resolution. Um, it is truly a partnership and uh, a collaboration with all partners on Guam in order to increase the awareness of breast cancer, the importance of screening, and to join the fight here on island. Thank you. Yes, I just wanted to emphasize that Cancer is the second leading cause of death on Guam. Second le leading cause of death. And that, will, that is why it is very important for all of us to partner together in the fight against cancer. I don't think any one organization can uh, fix this issue. I think it takes all of us, all of us, all organizations with different objectives, different uh, things that they can bring to the complete uh, cancer prevention and control spectrum. And so, uh, thank you to the Senate for, for giving us this re resolution. Breast cancer is the leading cause, uh, or the leading incidence of cancer on Guam. So thank you for this.
I'll just say that, you know, October is what we recognize, but every day we fight breast counts. Every day, every outreach, every time we talk to anybody. So it's a 365-day-a-year challenge, and, you know, I am so blessed to be a part of uh, this group of great and wonderful people. On behalf of uh, Christina Noquette and Marie Charitero from the American Cancer Society, we wanted to thank you for the uh, resolution, but also for um, recognizing the awareness that we do. We are all one degree from cancer. And um, earlier in a meeting, we were speaking about how there was eight women in the room, and one of us will eventually be diagnosed with cancer. So one in eight women. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a rude awakening, but with the coalition and the collaboration of community partners and individuals and, and our legislative support, um, we get the message out. So thank you for the awareness and the recognition. And just, just to uh, sort of close out the event, um, I'm going to ask uh, if, if we can have a person, Ms. Joanne, if we can have a personal testimony a little bit about your experience and then uh, I'll ask Senator Munia to go ahead and give the closing remarks. Well, as a two-year um, breast cancer survivor, I am pleased to also thank um, American Cancer and Guam Cancer for also helping me and uh, Edward M. Calvo financially, uh, and the support of my family, my children, my husband, and a great doctor, the former Lieutenant Governor, Michael Cruz, he was my surgeon. This was very, a, a very uh, touching thing for me because um, I went in for my mammogram and I never thought I'd come, you know, have this thing on me. But when I was told that I have breast cancer, it, um, it tore me apart. So please, ladies, do your yearly mammogram because Early detection is the best result that you're gonna have. It was a stage one, but I survived it. And please trust our doctors here in Guam. They are good doctors. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, so I wanted to touch bases on, on that experience that um, I did say that Every, all the numbers that we have on our statistics all have a name to it. Um, and we're all related and we're, you know, we all know each other. So this is one of the reasons why it's so important that we work together as a team, together with the legislative uh, body and the entire coalition, that this is something that we need to be passionate about. And, and I told Kathy that we can never be comfortable. We always have to feel uncomfortable about something because then that's how we're going to achieve a little bit more success. So I want to thank everybody, the whole coalition. And, and in all fairness, they were very busy in the month of October. So this is a perfect time to actually give them the resolution. So thank you very much. And, and I, I would just like for maybe everybody to give uh, the entire coalition a very big round of applause. Thank you so much. Continue the fight together. And now we'd like to invite all of you up for a, a group picture, perhaps? Yes. Thank you, and have a good day. God bless. <laughs>